Looking for some creative ways to use robotics in Kerbal Space Program's Breaking Ground expansion? This video's got you covered. Flash out. What's going on? I am Controlled Pairs, and here we are all about finding epic moments in creative games just like Kerbal Space Program. And with the release of the Breaking Ground expansion, I know a lot of you are looking for ideas on what sort of robotic contraptions you could create in Kerbal Space Program. So here are five different designs that I have used with varying degrees of success that I think you would really enjoy replicating. First, the ring station. Build a normal space station and then create a ring. I used mine out of Mark II cockpits. I went into the space plane hangar and then I used use the rotation tool to create a symmetrical ring. I positioned it generally around the center of mass of my space station and I attached it to a rotating rotor. Some tricks here are to make sure that the brakes are not applied, that you have plenty of SAS on board, that the space station is oriented either normal or anti-normal so it's not translating through space during its orbit, and that you keep the RPM and the torque limiter very, very low. You can attempt to use a servo, which I also did, but it didn't work quite as well. The second idea I've got for you is a folding plane. Specifically, I made a micro folding three-seater plane that I put in the back of a cargo aircraft and then I used a piston which extended out the back of the aircraft and then ultimately deployed that robotic plane out of the aircraft. When it deploys, it has its wings swept back to the rear and then while it's in free fall, it initiates its rotors and starts generating RPMs and then it extends its wings and starts propagating lift and then navigating its way to its destination. There's a lot of different opportunities there. You could definitely put a folding plane in a tube and then deliver it somewhere with an atmosphere like Eve or like Leif. The third idea I've got for you is a VTOL. So vertical takeoff and landing aircraft have been in Kerbal Space Program for a really long time, but finally with the robotics DLC and breaking ground, VTOLs are a lot easier to make and they're a lot of fun. So this was actually the first craft that I made with the breaking ground expansion. All I did is I took a normal space plane body and I put a engine at the center of mass right underneath the belly of it and I attached it to a rotating hinge and then I created an action group whereby I toggled that hinge on and off and when I toggled it on it pointed the engine to the ground and when I toggled it off uh, it ultimately stored it away. And because the center of thrust on my craft wasn't exactly on the center of mass, I ended up having two engines, one in the rear of the aircraft and then one on the belly of it. And I used the air, the motor on the belly of the aircraft and I kind of toggled its thrust up and down so that I, I could keep it relatively level um, throughout its flight. But I highly recommend you take a swing at vertical takeoff and landing craft in the Breaking Ground expansion. Next, and this one's actually more practical, it's cargo storage. So on the Galahad mission that I I recently did, which is linked up above, we did an Apollo style lunar mission and we took our service module all the way to the moon. We went into a 10 kilometer parking orbit and then ultimately deployed a rover to the surface with a lander and then brought a three Kerbal crew all the way back home. The way I took that rover all the way to the moon was by storing it inside the service module. And so basically I clipped a piston into the service module and I set the extend limit so that the rover itself was completely concealed inside the service module and so it wasn't subject to force either because the service module has these big bay doors on it. Then whenever we were in our parking orbit around the moon, I deployed the doors of that service module and then extended the piston. And then on the belly of that rover, I put a docking port so that my lander can could detach from the service module, translate around using RCS, line up with the rover and then dock before finally decoupling the rover and then positioning itself for a retrograde burn and ultimately landing on the moon. So a more practical but still really fun and really interesting way to use robotic parts in the Breaking Ground expansion. I've got two more for you. The next one is a robotic arm. So I've made two robotic arms so far. Of course, there's a stock robotic arm that comes with the DLC that simply scans surface features for you. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about creating a robotic arm yourself. The way I did this is I take a servo and I take a hinge and I position them to a structure. And then I attach a piston to that servo and that hinge and I just do this over and over again so you create a series of joints. Then I use the KAL program or the Cal 1000, 2000, 9000, whatever it is, to program a a series of movements for those joints to undergo. The two robotic arms that I've made, the first and the more useful one is on board my Endurance SSTO. That robotic arm has a docking port on it, so I can actually equip something like a drill or the clampatron, uh, excuse me, the, the claw 
um, or solar panels or a crew cabin or you name it. So it's very modular. It's very useful. The other one, the other robotic arm I use, I put on my space station and that space station then can use that robotic arm to move things around in orbit and actually perform maintenance on itself. And it can also extend itself out to spacecraft that are approaching the space station in order to assist with docking. For more information on those, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to release an entire video that covers that SSTO and that entire mission that I did uh, using those robotic arms next week. Finally, helicopters. So this one goes without saying. Helicopters have always been possible in Kerbal Space Program, but not until the introduction of propellers and rotors did it make sense to build one. So I've only built one so far, and it was actually before the stock propellers came out. So I used airplane wings to build my helicopter, and I created a counter-rotating or contra-rotating attack helicopter that also included um, guided rockets on board. Helicopters are kind of a challenge to make. The way that you do it is you take a rotor and then you attach a servo to that rotor and you have the servo for however many blades you plan to have uh, on your helicopter. Most only need two or three with the stock uh, helicopter rotor blades that are included with the new expansion. Once those servos are equipped to the rotor, then you take your helicopter rotor blades and you then attach them to the servo. Then you actually have to go into that servo and set the angle limit to something reasonable just by kind of looking at it and seeing how much deflection or angle of attack it's going to have throughout its translation. And then you're going to take that servo and you're going to map it to an axis group. At the end, what you want to be able to do is apply the key for the axis group that is going to change the pitch of that helicopter rotor blade on the rotor by using that servo to rotate it back and forth. Because that's going to change the angle of the blades, that's going to provide what's called collective control. So ultimately, you'll start up your rotor, you'll start the engine, but the engine's going to be rotating at a constant rate of speed. And then to gain altitude, you'll apply the axis group that will deflect those rotors in such a way that it will cause the aircraft to climb and then to descend you will do the same thing in reverse by applying that axis group action key that will cause the aircraft to descend that is a very brief explanation it's worth a google and it's also worth taking a look at the video that's linked on the screen right now where i provide a more thorough explanation and do a full overview of the craft that i made here at Control Pairs Gaming, we're all about helping you find those epic moments in your favorite creative games, just like Kerbal Space Program and other tactical simulators, flight simulators, MMOs, sandbox, any game that doesn't hold your hand and requires you to tell an epic story on your own. If that sounds like something that you're into, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.